What's going on today, gardeners? Today I'm going to share with you how to make a strawberry grow bag. As you can see here, I have some strawberries up top. So what I did is I bought a 10 pack of bare root strawberries for only $3 at Walmart. They're Ozark Beauty strawberries, so they're not uh, bad strawberries. And what I did is I planted them some up top, I planted four up top, and I planted five on the side. What I did is I'll take you in a little for a closer look. I cut slits in the grow bag and I pushed or I uh, fed the leaves and uh, stems out of those slits as well. So instead of buying those uh, specialized strawberry grow bags for, you know, $10 a piece, I just took what I already had, which in this case I only spent about a buck seventy-five a piece on these because they were on sale, the grow bag. And then what I did also was line them. If you haven't seen my previous video on why you should line your grow bags, uh, check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. And what I did is I just poked a hole through the fabric and through the uh, plastic. And the roots are perfectly in the soil. Uh, there's nothing to worry about there. And it's just uh, amazing what you can do. This is an experiment I'm going to do also to see how many strawberries I will get because I have never been uh, able to get a lot of strawberries from one plant. But that's all going to hopefully change this year. So that's just a quick idea, quick uh, video, quick tip on maybe perhaps uh, making your own strawberry grow bag. See, and you really, you could do this all the way around. I only did it on this one side. Um, I, would go, I wouldn't go any more than 10 plants per uh, 10 gallons. Nothing more than that. In fact, I'd probably only do about 8 plants per uh, 10 gallon. This is a 10 gallon grow bag. Uh, and it's not quite filled up all the way either. But we'll see what happens. Um, you may have to do, uh, divide your strawberry plants more often, and when the time comes, I'll probably do a video on that, uh, if these strawberry plants make it. Also, if you just buy them, uh, they are very susceptible to frost because they are not hardened off. So if you are going to get a frost, either put them in the garage or protect them because that is uh, important. Also, another note is I just took a razor blade uh, razor knife and cut the slits in the fabric grow bags are very easy to cut but they're not they want to cut them they won't rip open or anything as long as the cut is only about one and a half inches as you can see there it's only about one and a half to two inches at most and then of course the strawberry plants go in and I put five on one side so they're you know, somewhat symmetrical and whatnot. And again, four up top. So hopefully we'll have an abundant harvest of strawberries this year. I hope you liked this video and really got something out of it. And, you know, make these ideas your own. Uh, yep, just take uh, my ideas and whether you're doing uh, container gardening or maybe you're doing it in a five gallon bucket, you can always make a strawberry planter out of the five gallon bucket. So, and I hope you like this video too, and uh, I hope you subscribe to see more gardening tips and tricks, and until I see you in the next video, get on growing.